Hello guys and welcome to another episode of RCT Minutes. Today I'm gonna show you how to create custom objects for Roller Coaster Tycoon using Blender. After starting Blender you'll see a default scene like that. First of all we're gonna select the camera. Then we're gonna set the X location to 3, the Y location to minus 3 and the Z rotation to 45 degrees. Now we're gonna press 0 on the numpad to toggle the camera view. Then we'll go into the camera settings right here. Then we're gonna set the camera type to autographic. Now we're gonna go to the output settings right here. We are gonna set the resolution to about 1000 by 1000 pixels. Now this value is pretty arbitrary but it works for me. Now we'll have to make sure that our object fits nicely into the camera view by setting the Z location. And the autographic scale. Now we can create our object in Blender or import something into Blender. I'm gonna use a simple store like that as an example. Please make sure that the orientation of your object is correct, so if you press 1 on the numpad, you should see the front of your object. As our next step, we're gonna select the light source right here and press G and Y to move it over here. Now we can press F12 to render the first image of our stall. By pressing F3 you can save this as an image. Please make sure that you save the image in bitmap format. Now we gotta render our object 4 times with the following camera settings. After creating all the renders we can close Blender. Now we're gonna open every single one of those images in an image editing program of your choice and we're gonna replace the background with another color. We have to do this because otherwise there would be problems removing the background later. Now we're gonna open the RCT2 object editor. I've put a download link for this in the description below. First of all we gotta select file, new and then shop. Then we can import our images using this button right here. Now you can change some settings, for example the shop type and the items it sells. Now we give our stall a name and a description. If you don't want to translate everything, you can also just fill out one language and then select copy to all other languages. Now the only thing that remains to do is pressing file and then save to save our stall. You can now see the path where to save it to right here on the screen. After starting OpenRCT2 and selecting our object in the object selection, our object should appear right here. As you can see there is a lot of work to do on this stall but this is just a general simple example on how to do something like this. So that's it for today, I'm really looking forward to seeing your creations. I hope that you had some fun and see you next time!